Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and this is an episode that I forgot the number to because I forgot to look. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I filmed an actual um, episode, and it's just because of everything going on, being busy, and trying not to focus on horrible things, and work on things that make me happy, blah, 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 all that stuff. <laughs> so that's why I did start doing the VEDA videos, which I've been doing fairly good on, but I haven't been doing it every day, but you know whatever <laughs> uh but i did uh clicked up on my foes and my one whip that i have right now active whip and uh i want to share it with you guys for the people who don't like watching uh veda type videos and share them all with you guys here and yeah so let's get into it <laughs> all right first the first finished object i have is right here <laughs> this thing let me grab it okay it jingles <laughs> but this is i used a scrap a bit of Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Ocean, I think was the name, or Scuba. My, scuba, Scuba. I made something out of this recently. Hats. My hats for the Hat Not Hate um, video that I made, a tutorial. I'll link that below if I can remember. But this is my leftover ball of it. And I wanted to make something to hang my buttons and my stitch markers on. Now these are all the stitch markers I have. These are the ones that were gifted to me by people either uh, viewers or other podcasters so these are all my special ones and I do like to like rotate using them so uh, I wanted to hang them all up in a place where I could easily grab uh, you know a different one and use it and this is my Christmas section <laughs> these are all Christmas stitch markers and buttons and then these are buttons that I've gotten mostly from Happy Mail I bought a couple of them I can't remember which ones but some of these crochet luna ones I bought but I just wanted a place to stick them all so all I did for this is I made a big, um, it's kind of a rectangle, I guess, crochet piece. It's just double crochets back and forth. I used, I think, an H hook because I wanted it to have big holes in it, big gaps. And then it's hot glued onto a uh, piece of box, one of those free boxes you can get from the post office. <laughs> I just hot glued it and rigged it up to have a hanger thingy right here. And I have it hanging on the wall with two of those... Um, uh, what are those called? Those things, you, like stickers that don't leave marks. <laughs> Whatever those are called. So yeah, it works. I think it, look, it looks awesome. Stick it right there. Look at that. Look at all the beautiful stitch markers. And they <laughs> jingles. <laughs> but yeah, so that was my fin first finished object that I'm sharing with you guys. Ah, like I said, there's no pattern. It's just double crochets back and forth. Hot glued it onto a cardboard piece and made a hanger. <laughs> that simple. I like it though. I think it'll work perfectly for what I need it to. And if it ever, you know, gets squished up or anything, all I gotta do is whip up another one. <laughs> so I'm super happy about that because it's functional and I can use it. And Jesse likes kind of messing around with it. But it also used up a scrap ball that I had. So that's awesome. All right. I also forgot to mention that it's in the evening. I don't have my watch on. It looks like it's almost seven. So it's gloomy. So the, the video quality might be down because I don't have any lights on. But anyways. All right, now I have three shawls to share with you and a dishcloth. I'll do the dishcloth first. So this is just another one of my puff stitch di dishcloths that I made. Um, I can't remember when I made this one, but it was recently. <laughs> I remember making it outside. But I do have a video tutorial on this pattern. If you're interested, I'll link that below. But it's just a basic puff stitch dishcloth. And uh, I made a couple. And one's actually in my kitchen right now being used. And this one needs to be washed and then I can use it. But uh, I made that at some point and now for the shawls <laughs> I've been making shawls like crazy because they're mindless and easy for me to just work on without having to concentrate too much so uh, yeah so I made three <laughs> okay this is I think this is the first one I made I've showed this on Veda but not on an episode so here it is super quick and easy this is called the fringed triangle crochet shawl or something like that <laughs> it'll be below by melody crochet it's a free written and video tutorial i'll link below the tutorial the video one and underneath it is the written pattern the link to it but it's really cute and easy the yarn that i used is red heart super saver flamingo <laughs> i did look it up and it is called flamingo I, I was thinking it was but yeah i like it a lot i like the fringe i don't normally like fringe but uh lately i've been liking it so yeah, you can't really see it that good because the camera's up higher, but I like it a lot. I can't wait to use it eventually. <laughs> and uh, so that's one shawl that I made. And this is the same exact pattern. This one was made with, I think, a K-hook. 
And then I got gifted bigger hooks. So I made this one with an in hook. This is made with uh, same exact pattern. This is made with uh, Karen Simply Soft prints or paints. Karen Simply Soft paints and the colorway is rainbow bright. <laughs> so it's the exact same pattern as the flamingo one, just made with a bigger hook. I had it all finished in my last Veda, except the fringe, but I did it last night. So again, it's just another one of those shawls. It's got really pretty fringe. <laughs> I like it a lot. I can't wait to wear this. This is gonna look so nice with like a black jacket or something. Give it a pop. But the holes are much larger. Let me see if I can. So it's the same exact pattern, just K hook, uh, N hook. <laughs> and they're both worsted weight. So that's cool. This one's a lot squishier too because the holes are so much bigger. You know, it folds easier. I love them. And then the last shawl. <laughs> this one is called the One Ball Shawl by Marley Bird. I made this with Knit Crate yarn. This is Knit Crate Knitology. <laughs> Jesse's banging on something. Anyways, this is Knit Crate Knitology Bouncy Worsted. The colorway is equation or something like that but this is both hanks of it but it, it totaled out to be 360 yards so it's basically like a ball it's also worsted weight it's super wash merino this is another super easy um shawl pattern same thing over and over and over again and uh, i like the the openness of it i like both of these shawl patterns for that actually um because it doesn't make it too dense and heavy and i think it's pretty and again this will look good with dark colors i think uh whenever I get around to wearing it. Probably this coming fall. <laughs> yeah, I like it a lot. So I made three shawls and a dishcloth since the last time I seen you guys and that thing. <laughs> and I'm sure there's probably some other things. I just can't remember. <laughs> but I do have one whip. And it's a Snappy Tots uh, pattern. I can't remember what it's called. And I didn't print the first page. I only printed the pages that I need. <laughs> so I didn't print the cover page. But I'll pop it up on screen. It's it's some kind of witch. But it's a Halloween witch <laughs> uh, doll. That, and the reason I'm making it is because um, I'm making it for a fair entry uh, this August. If the fair is still a thing. <laughs> um, I'm making it to decorate a wreath with. I bought some wreath forms. The metal flat ones. At the Dollar Tree. I bought four or five. I see your Christmas, Thanksgiving, patriotic, other holiday, and Halloween. Five. I bought five of them um, to make different wreaths for my fair. I normally make the round ones, but I, those were there and they were a dollar, so I grabbed them and I'm going to try to make uh, flat ones because they're, they're the flat ones that you put like fake flowers on. And um, I think I can make it work by just making you know like on the round wreaths you crochet like a scarf basically to wrap around it all the way around the whole wreath so that i'm just gonna have to make the same thing but make it a different size so um i think it'd be all right so for the witch she's made in like a rag doll form this is body her face the back of her head and the back of her body and uh then you would fold it together and sew it up the sides and then she's going to have arms. <laughs> I have one arm almost done. I stopped when I needed to stuff it because I didn't have my stuff in outside. And I was working on this while Jessie was playing outside. So I, I still got a lot to make for her. But I just started it today, so that's okay. Do you want another mountain in the sky? Don't, don't pull it out of there because the yarn is still attached. All right, here's kind of a picture. I'm going to use different colors. For the legs, I'm going to use black and orange striped. And, um... For this purple and blue part on her dress, I'm gonna use green. And that's why the, or the arms is partly green. And her hair is gonna be orange. And uh, I'm trying to use up scrap balls only, except the black, because I didn't have any black scrap balls. So I did have to pull out a whole skein of black. But that's why my skin color, because normally for a Caucasian skin tone, I like to use, I love this yarn, light peach, I think is what it's called airplane or something go by but i didn't have any of that in my scrap ball i only had red heart super saver buff which is kind of a weird color i think but i'm gonna go ahead and use that i thought about making her skin green so that she'd look like a wicked witch but i didn't want her to be a wicked witch i wanted her to be just like a regular witch i don't know <laughs> but yeah so um i'm pretty sure i can make the rest of her out of scraps um so i'm gonna make her for my wreath and then i'm gonna make probably a striped 
wreath form. The form will be striped uh, probably black, green, and orange, and purple. Some sort of repetitive repeat thing. <laughs> Whatever I'm trying to say. And then I might make some other little Halloween-y top things to put around her. Like I might uh, make like an applique broom or some bats or pumpkins or something. A cat maybe. Just to put around her. She's going to be the centerpiece of the wreath and then little bits around her. And that's my plan for the Halloween wreath. And then once I get it all the way done, I will work on another one. But like I said, I got the five forms up there. So I'm just going to try to work on one at a time. And I'm going to just work on easier fair projects um just to get through all this rough time and hopefully by the time my fair rolls around things will be back to almost normal and uh you know we'll be able to be around people again and i can enter the fair and all that and if not i'll just have some stuff for next year <laughs> so um we'll see but yeah so that's my only active whip i do still have quite a few hibernating whips over there and it's just stuff that i just don't feel like working on i'm trying to just work on stuff that i enjoy working on and not working on anything crazy. Let me put my pattern in there. It's actually living in a Halloween bag, which is appropriate. <laughs> this is one of my first bags I ever made forever ago. But it's still kicking, so it's all good. The last thing I wanted to mention is I am working on some project bags. These will just be project bags by themselves, and then also some more crab bags. I don't have the right zippers on hand to make um, zipper notion pouches, and every time I go to try to order them, they're sold out because so many people are at home crafting and stuff. So I do have a bunch of crab bags already cut out. These are ones I had cut out last time and I just didn't want to finish. So <laughs> there's a few repeated patterns or prints. And then I got a bunch of project bags. This is my stack that's already ready to go. This is the outers with the liners all stacked up. Some of my are alpacas. And then I have a stack right here that I don't have liners for yet. And these ones on the bottom are gonna be larger than normal. Because I remember forever ago, someone asked if I could make a big bag out of this print, but I can't remember who. So I went ahead and cut both of them to be big. Um, and then whoever gets it, gets it, I guess. But, uh, so these I gotta cut liners for. And then behind you, I have a stack about that high <laughs> of fabric I still need to cut. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> I don't even know how many bags are gonna be in the shop. But I'm just gonna make them all and put them in the shop. And if they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> but, um, I'm just basically trying to stay occupied. And use up some material. I've been gifted some recently by a few different people. And um, so I want to go ahead and use it up. And try to make some more money for the family. What on earth? My neighbor, it sounds like they're drilling something. <laughs> but um, they are. They're, they're, someone's drilling something. <laughs> go figure. I've talked about it before, Mount and Devon's dream is to hopefully, we were hoping next year, but I don't know about with all this corona stuff, uh, get land and uh, move into like a tiny house while we build an actual house. And in order to do that, you know, we're going to need money and we're also going to have to downsize. So I've been cleaning out and just going through all kinds of stuff, getting rid of stuff that we don't need anymore or want anymore. And I'm going to keep doing that pretty much the rest of this year and into all the way up till we move probably. Just getting rid of um, things we're not going to need right away. You know, most pretty much everything is replaceable if the time ever comes that we want it but uh i know we've held on to a lot of stuff that we don't need anymore so it's good time and it's a good way to keep me distracted right now <laughs> and um i realized that i have a ton of holiday decorations but i'm not getting rid of any of them i'm just going to whenever whenever we do do that move we're probably going to rent a storage unit somewhere to put stuff like that in and our furniture because if we move into a tiny house we can't take our um couches and stuff with us so we're gonna and our washer and dryer we're just gonna put it all in storage until we get the house built and uh yeah i've lost my train of thought <laughs> where i was going with that but um all this money like if i sell these bags um because we're blessed right now Devin is still working and he's actually working more now than he was before because they laid off pretty much everybody where he works and um the only reason he's still working there is because he's real good friends with some of the higher ups and they you know when they had to choose people to stay he was chosen because he's you know friends with people so that's good so um what was the thing since he's still working you know everything that i earn is still our extra income so i'm just piling it up <laughs> every time i make any sales on my etsy shop or when i make youtube money or anything like that i'm just piling it up in our account so that um you know that it can go towards our goals in the future we do have some bills that we're trying to pay off, medical bills. I finally got everything set up on payments. That's like a pain in the butt process to get stuff set up on payments because they want, they want you to either pay it all off or they offer you a discount, but it's a crazy 
still high amount <laughs> and um you know you have to go back and forth it's just annoying but anyways i finally i think i got everything figured out <laughs> and uh we did qualify for the stimulus so whenever we get ours um we're probably gonna use that for our little bit of debts that we have to help even more pay off junk <laughs> and uh the majority of our debts right now are like i've said a million times medical debt <laughs> because uh last year was a really heavy medical year for us uh, for the boys mostly it's not me because i'm one of those people who i have to be pretty much dead before i'll go to the doctor and it's not because i'm scared of the doctor anything it's because i'm cheap <laughs> but yeah i think i blabbed a whole lot <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because i'm losing a lot i need to put all this stuff up and get this video edited and up because i want to upload it today <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next video whenever that may be <laughs> bye guys